on you, Paul. It's going to cost you that, though, you know. No worries, I'll buy every right, single mate. one. There you go. Paul. Hey, then, Paul. Yeah. Quick, have you got a pen? Yeah, borrow mine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. James Brown. Yeah, you said Jeff Papers, did you like him? Oh, I do. I like Mr. Brown. He's very good. Well, who else? Who else we got? Who else? Do? Beast Boys. I see you got there. They're yeah. good. I like Nirvana. You got. You got, got, got that. that. Yeah. I played great. them though. I mean, which ones you like? You've done them. Yeah. Oh, anything really. All right. <laughs> okay, well, we do um, this from your new album. What, what is it? Which track? This is called Get Out of My Way, Robert. And why do you want this one, Paul? I mean, I'm uh, plugging this. I'm plugging it basically. <laughs> now we're going to play it tomorrow night. I've got to learn the words. All right, go. <laughs> Thank you very much, 96 FM. <laughs> I'm here with Bob Geldof. Oh, no, it's the other way around, isn't it? No, you're, you're here, here with, with me. me as well. Here we are. <laughs> and we're chatting. Now we're going to do the ads and then come back with... Yeah. Uh, you pick Nirvana Lithium. That's right. And then we're going to do something else. We're going to tell stories. Go on, then. Oh, no, not now. Have All right. Ads. Go and do the ads, then. <laughs> I'm talking with Paul McCartney. He's picked uh, Nirvana's Lithium, which is a great track. I said earlier when I uh, played Smells Like Teen Spirit that a lot of people were getting disillusioned with the fact that maybe nobody could do anything new with pop music. And uh, here's these guys come along with their uh, bass, guitar and drums, as per always, and could manage to reinvent that attitude mm. again. And uh, they're a very cool band, and this is a great track. Good. for stopping it. The thing here that I heard, I, I went into a farm about, uh, well, 100 miles at the back here mm -hmm. in Perth, and um, the farmer there was telling me that um, one of the other big problem, which has now sort of superseded the ozone, is uh, this salt depletion in the soil, which is making the earth crack open. Is that what it is, Des? And uh, that, what's the, because we're growing too much stuff or something? And, uh, the right stuff. 
Uh, yeah, you've got to go organic. You've got to go back to the old farming methods. I mean, f farming's got to go. Or not, you know, they want a fridge. And uh, You're right, you know. Uh, and in Britain, we've cut down all our forests long ago to have grazing, you know. Yes, sir. I think, I don't know, I think just the world governments, maybe that Brazil summit should have addressed all these problems. But you can't because, I mean, isn't the problem that um, everybody is talking about the idea of progress, but progress has been reduced to the single word, more. Yeah, but I think you've got to change your whole way of thinking. This is why Linda and I are kind of into stuff like vegetarianism. If people were ever to go that way, and I mean it's a real long trek, you know, it's not going to happen for 50 years, if ever. Mm. But if it does, you will be able to feed 20 times the amount of people, you know, it's, the figures are that, you know, when you eat a cow, you could be eating the field that the cow ate, the grain that the cow ate, and you can feed all these people starving, you know, in the third world, it is possible.